Hey guys, Scott's Football here, back with another video. And today's video is about as the announcement has been made that Wall Michael Walls has sacked our manager called Bruno Large. We've sacked him after yesterday's two after yesterday night's two 0 defeat away at West Ham United. He leaves Wolves with us sitting eighteenth in the league after a very poor start to season. Here's the thing what's happened in the last few weeks and months. We can't score goals, can't win games, can't stop signing Portuguese players, can't play attacking football, and weak, weak, weak. We're lucky to be his 10th last season after four ends of the season we had. Defeats against Newcastle, Burnley. Newcastle defeat 1 0 away. Burnley away 1 0 defeat. Palace at home, 2 0 defeat. Brighton at home, 3 0 defeat. Man City, 5 1. That was actually kind of expected, but um, still not great. And we could even beat Norwich, who, are, who have been relegated. They just couldn't be asked in the end. The only two games towards the end of the season we showed fighting were Chelsea away, coming from 2 0 down to, to come, come away with a 2 2 draw. The Trin Cow and Connor Cody scored the two goals, and Liverpool away despite losing 3 1 when we took the lead and we could have got something out of the game, but no matter, Liverpool were better though. The only two games I think we did play well in last season were uh, the game two games against Villa, 3 2 defeat. We didn't play well for the majority of the game, the Villa were better, but we took our chances well in that game. And the two one and, the, and we won two one at home against Villa. We did the double in them last season. I think the reason why, the re when the real pop problem kicked in was when we lost 3 2 to Leeds. 2 0 up at half time, second half, we had a controversial sending off. Which was pretty arse, honest. That's why we lost, though. That. So, our record so far this season in our first eight games, I include nine due to the Caribou Cup one. 2-1 defeat away at Leeds to start the season with one that up. Nil no draw at home to Fulham and to Sar saved a penalty after Mitch Sar saved a penalty from Mitrich. One nil defeat away at Spurs. We're quite lucky in that game because the first one well, first half were dominant against them. One one draw at home to Newcastle. Newcastle could have won it at the end as well from Kieran Trippier. That one goal from some Maxi Amo take a bow. A nil no draw away at Bournemouth, we just couldn't score in that game. A 1-0 win at home to Southampton just about got through that. A 3 0 defeat at home to Man City. Could even last one minute without going down one 0 down. Fifty seconds in. It was expected against Man City, but so more fights they're going one 0 down in under a minute. A two 0 defeat away at West Ham tonight. Personally, we had our chances. I don't think we deserve to lose. But you can't keep using those excuses saying we didn't they weren't better enough, we didn't deserve to lose, we're unlucky. Because we've got to take responsibility as well. And Bruno needs to understand that he has failed at this club. We are we look worse. We look worse under him than we did under Nuno. I think the sacking of Nuno was very arse. He had one bad season and he had one bad season and we lost a lot of players as well. And he had Raul, he had Raul Jimenez in just out was out for the rest of the season without any injury. So he didn't have it easy, and we didn't have it easy. And Jota left. Um, we had a couple of players that left to obviously further their careers, of course. But that season was awful. It was it was very poor. It really was. But see, I think they should give him another season instead. We've brought in somebody worse. And we're in no better position, in fact. We're in a worse position than we were than we were in 2020. I wish uh, I wish his him and his family all, all the best in the, all the best for the future and all, give him all the best in his efforts the football. Football club. Personally, I think the club has made the right decision to sack him if we are going to move forward because how much longer can this football keep going on for? Yeah, we could have given him another chance, but we just 
We're 18th in the league, only one win. The teams behind Leicester, uh, Forest and Leicester might be the worst off than us, but here's the thing, they can score, we can't. I don't think we played that bad against West Ham last night. We had our chances, we probably could have deserved a point, but we just can't score again. And I hate to say it, the two players, the two best players on our pitch were Max Gilman and Diego Costa when he came on. Diego Costa, um, he didn't start. He, he didn't start, but he nearly scored that one header. Header, which so that is a sign of a good start. I think the bad thing really is that 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 uh, is that we struggle. With, it's we're signing so many Portuguese. Some of them, which are not good enough, and some that are past their prime and stuff like. We've got. Saar Sa is probably one of the best Portuguese players we've probably got. And um, John, John, Johnny is... Samedo has his ups and downs, 50-50 at times, it's alright. Johnny has had two injuries, so he ain't the same, but he's... The, no, wait, John, Johnny, I think he's, you know he's Spanish, actually, he's not Portuguese. We've got we've Giamatino is past his prime now. Ne never to stay with us long enough. He's remained loyal. He's remained loyal to us. He really has. He's been one of our best Portuguese players. Nunes has come in, and he, and he looks all right. Um, we signed Geda. I don't think he got a goal just yet. Um, we signed so many Portuguese wingers. They don't score enough goals. Ne Neto's good. He didn't score many either. Foden's is fast, he didn't score many. We signed Bo Barker Traore, so we aren't going to... Hopefully, we've, we've never out. We've never out now for a couple of games. Um, we're too, accumulating far too many yellow cards. Maybe it's a time for it to prove that he can shine. So, right, the, the, the per manager I'd like to bring back is Nuno. To, it's a wrong decision to get rid of him in the first place. There are a few other managers out there that I think we could get. Maybe Big Sam, Sam Allardyce, maybe. Thomas Tuchel and, Mar and Mauricio Pochettino. Would both of them want to come to Wolves? Personally, if Wayne Rooney wouldn't have been at DC United now, I wouldn't have minded having Wayne Rooney in, maybe. I reckon we could have sawn Dice, maybe. He's out of, he's out of a job. Uh, but personally, do you know who I think we'll appoint? I think we'll appoint a Portuguese guy because how can an English manager come in and work with all these Portuguese players? We need some Portuguese, some managers to actually work with Portuguese players. But sadly, honestly, we decide far too many Portuguese and don't invest in our English talents. And even the English players that we have are either youth players, youth players, or at least one. First team player. Be interested to see who takes over now until a new manager pointing Chelsea away next, and it doesn't get any easier for us. So I think I'll wrap this video up now here. So if you did enjoy, in, if you did all enjoy today's video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn your notifications every time I make a video. So this will be out later and. The England World Cup 2022, my, uh, my final England squad from the World Cup in Qatar 2022 will be out later on. See you all later guys, bye everyone.